to remove and install the rear half shaft on a Sportsman 450 or 570, follow these steps. Park the vehicle on a flat level surface, ensure it is in park, and set the parking brake. Before removing the tire, the wheel hub castle nut needs to be loosened. To do this, begin by removing the dust cap from the wheel. Then, remove and discard the cotter pin from the castle nut. Continue by slightly loosening the castle nut. Next, loosen the lug nuts while the vehicle is on the ground, but do not remove at this time. Then, safely elevate the vehicle. Reference your owner's manual for proper lifting techniques. Once safely elevated, remove the lug nuts and set aside. Then, remove the wheel and set aside. Next, remove and retain the lower bearing carrier fasteners and washers. Then, carefully pry out the end caps on the bearing carrier. Next, pull the bushing assemblies out from the carrier. The mounting fastener can be used to help remove the bushings out of their bores. Before continuing, release the parking brake. Then, loosen the set screw on the back of the caliper to allow the caliper mount pin to slide backwards. Continue by removing the two caliper fasteners and four washers. Then, remove the caliper from the hub and support it with a wire hanger, rope, or retention strap to avoid damaging the brake line. Next, remove the wheel hub castle nut and domed washers from the drive shaft spline. Then, pull the wheel hub away from the shaft spline and set aside. Next, loosen the upper bearing carrier fastener and discard the nut. Then, lift the bearing carrier to remove the upper fastener and the carrier. Next, sharply pull outward on the shaft assembly to remove it from the transmission. Next, clean the anti-seize off the drive shaft splines using a clean dry cloth. Then, inspect the threads and splines on the half shaft for nicks or burrs and replace if needed. Continue by inspecting the CV boots to ensure there are no cuts, wear, or damage and replace if needed. Next, remove and discard the compression ring on the drive shaft. Then, install a new compression ring into the groove on the end of the drive shaft and ensure it is fully seated. Then, apply new anti seize to the splines on the half shaft. Next, align the splines on the half shaft with the transmission and push in firmly on the shaft until the compression ring is fully engaged in the transmission. Then, insert the half shaft through the bearing carrier and align the carrier with the mounting holes on the A-arms. Continue by reinstalling the upper carrier fastener from the rear of the vehicle with a new nut. Next, inspect the bearing carrier end caps for damage or wear and replace if necessary. Note that the other end caps may still be installed and should also be inspected. Then, clean the bushings with a clean dry shop rag 
and inspect them for wear or damage. Continue by applying high temperature grease to the bushings. Next, align the lower A arm with the mounting holes in the lower bearing carrier and reinstall the bushings. The bushings sit inside the bearing carrier and when fully seated will not allow the carrier to tilt out. Then reinstall the end caps and ensure they are fully seated. Then, reinstall the retained fasteners, smaller washers, and larger washers into the lower bearing carrier. Pushing down on the carrier may help align the fastener with the mounting holes. Then, torque the lower carrier fasteners to specification. Continue by torquing the upper carrier fastener to specification. Next, align the wheel hub with the drive shaft spline and maneuver onto the shaft until fully seated. Continue by reinstalling the domed washers with the domed side out and castle nut onto the shaft spline. Next, carefully slide the caliper assembly onto the brake disc, ensuring the brake rotor is between the two pads. Before continuing, ensure any items used to secure the brake caliper are removed from the wheel well. Then, install the spring washer and washer onto the caliper fastener, and reinstall the two fasteners into the caliper bracket. Then, torque the fasteners to specification. The hub will need to be pivoted out to access the lower caliper fastener. Continue by tightening the set screw on the back of the caliper until the pads touch the brake disc. Then loosen the set screw a half turn. Next, reinstall the wheels on the vehicle and tighten the lug nuts until fully seated. Then, safely lower the vehicle until the tires begin to touch the ground. This will help keep them in place when torquing. Once lowered, torque the lug nuts to specification in a crisscross pattern. Then, torque the wheel hub castle nut to specification. Next, install a new cotter pin into the castle nut. If necessary, slightly tighten the castle nut to align the cotter pin hole. Then, push the dust cap onto the wheel and ensure it is fully seated. Finally, safely lower the vehicle completely. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.